A recent visit to eBay started me thinking about a new computer capable of running Apple's OS 10.15 or Catalina. I don't have a Mac Mini and it turns out that the 2012 model is the oldest one that still supports the newest operating system. In addition to the power button, on the back you'll find an Ethernet connection, an HDMI connection, two Thunderbolt and four USB connections, there's also a slot for SD cards and an eighth inch headphone jack that doubles as a microphone input. Mac Mini prices start in the $200 range and seem to go up steeply from there. I paid $149 for mine with a buy it now on eBay. The case is nearly new and the upgraded RAM is a valuable bonus. EveryMac.com can show how your Mac was originally configured. Find your serial number in the About This Mac section under the Apple pull-down menu. Copy and paste that number into EveryMac's search window. Now you can see what, if any, changes have been made since the computer left the factory. In my case, the RAM has been upgraded from 4 to 8 gigabytes of RAM but most everything else looks stock. The graphics card in this Mac Mini has six times the capacity of the one in my MacBook. Like all Apple products, the 2012 Mac Mini feels solid and well built. It's also easy to work on. The bottom simply unscrews and even the RAM can be replaced without any tools. Getting to the hard drive takes a little more effort but is still possible. Because this housing once offered an optical drive, there's even room to install a second hard drive. Hooking this up is also a breeze. Plug in the power cord and simply connect it to a monitor with an HDMI cable. I already had a wireless keyboard and mouse and these also paired effortlessly with the Mac Mini. So far, I'm extremely happy with this 8 year old computer. I think it will be great for editing these 1080p HD videos, but even my 11 year old MacBook still does that job well. The upgraded memory was worth at least $27. To get 16GB of RAM would be another 50 which then could be offset by reselling the old RAM. Catalina will likely be the highest operating system officially offered for this Mac Mini. But for now at least, I'm able to run the latest versions of iMovie, Keynote, Pages, and Motion. Thank you for watching.